It's time now for Trivia Tracks with yours truly, Price Robertson. Brought to you by ProMed Ambulance Services, care you can count on. And Beth Smith at Edward Jones. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. And in case you missed today's segment, you can always check out our platforms, including Apple Podcasts, iHeart, Spotify, iTunes, Geo7, Podcast Addict, and Deezer to give the Trivia Tracks podcast a listen. They were the other WB in the film industry. The Wolner Brothers, Lawrence, Bernard, and David, their surname is spelled W-O-O-L-N-E-R, were known for their many B-movies. After U.S. Army service in World War II, Lawrence, born in 1912, started to drive in theater in New Orleans in 1948, while Bernard, who was two years older, had previously opened the first drive-in theater in Memphis. Like other drive-in owners, the Woolners advanced money to low-budget B-picture producers to finance their product. Their first release was Roger Corman's Swamp Women in 1956, followed by another Corman feature, Teenage Doll, both released by Allied Artists. Bernard Woolner produced the financially successful Attack of the 50-Foot Woman in 1958, the Woolner's Boother Company to the West Coast in the early 1960s. They also directly financed films made in Italy, and though they released several of Mario Bava's films in America, Bava turned down a contract to make films directly for them in 1965. The Woolners went on to produce other films as well, including two sword and sandal films featuring Reg Park as Hercules a film based on Jules Verne's Five Weeks in a Balloon, shot in Puerto Rico, a trio of giallo films, a pair of Euro spy films, and two science fiction and hillbilly movies filmed in America, including 1967's Hillbillies and a Haunted House, starring country music singer Ferlin Husky and actress Joy Lansing. The Warner Brothers' final release was The Sin of Adam and Eve, filmed in Mexico and released in 1969. Lawrence Woolner later became a partner in Roger Corman's New World Pictures in 1970. However, the two clashed, and Woolner soon left the company. He then joined Warner Communications to set up his own company, Dimension Pictures. His last movie credit was 1982's Raw Force. He died three years later at the age of 73. Bernard had passed on in 1977. In the case of David Woolner, there is no known birth or death date. Till next time, I'm Price Robertson. Amazed by today's trivia? Then join me for Trivia Tracks weekdays at 645 on Everybody's Country, Y95.